بسم الله والحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وآله وصحبه وسلم تسليما كثيرا أما بعد we move on to the 28th chapter tonight القصص القصص which has 88 verses and with regards to the name it is the plural of قصة which is basically a story um, and we're told al muradu bil qasasi majmu'u qasasi Musa alayhi salam dun ghayrihi min al anbiya that allah ta'ala is narrating to us in this chapter stories throughout the life of prophet Musa alayhi salatu salam and basically only him and the reason why it's named as such is nisbatun li majmu'i qasasi Musa alayhi salam and it takes its name from that because it is a series of stories involving the life of Musa alayhi salam. And because of this, it does have another name besides Al-Qasas and it is also known as Surah Musa alayhi salam. It is actually known as the chapter of Musa alayhi salam. And its main focus is Tasliyatun Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam fi da'wati ilallah. That Allah Rabbul Alameen seeks to console the Prophet alayhi salatu salam with this chapter in helping him to understand and helping him to, to, to better uh, realize what it is of calling to Allah Rabbul Alameen and the challenges he would face and in comforting him by being able to give him a reference point to Musa alayhi salatu wasalam. Fadluha, we're not told that there's anything of a special virtue with regards to the chapter. Um, pardon me, the reason of its revelation, so it is a Meccan chapter and we're not told anything as far as why the chapter as a whole was revealed, but we're told that some of its verses, or, or the reason for some of its verses, and as far as its virtues, just that it is from the chapters that are less than 100, and therefore it is repeated a bit more often. The relationship of the, first, the beginning of the chapter with its end, we're told, الحديث عن العلو في الأرض وعاقبته Talking about this aspect of, of people uh, taking on a position of superiority in the land or on earth and in doing so what there is of their demise and the consequences. So Allah Ta'ala says in the beginning, Indeed Pharaoh, he elevated himself within the earth, he took a position of superiority and naturally we know that his superiority was something that he transgressed all limits because of it. And Allah Rabbul Alameen says at the end of the chapter, That is the home of the hereafter that we make for those who do not seek to have superiority within the earth, nor do they cause uh, corruption and, and trouble. Well, the relationship between this chapter and an naml the ant just before it, لَمَا خَطَمَ اللَّهُ سُبْحَانَهُ وَتَعَالَى النَّمْلَ بِالدَّعْوَةِ إِلَى النَّظْرِ فِي آيَاتِ اللَّهِ تَعَالَى بِقَوْلِهِ وَقُلِ الْحَمْدُ لِلَّهِ سَيُرِيكُمْ آيَاتِهِ فَتَعْرِفُونَهَا We're told that Allah Rabbul Alameen concluded Surah An-Naml by calling people to look at Allah Ta'ala's universal signs within his creation, saying, and say all praise and thanks are for Allah, He will show you very soon His signs and you will know them. وَافْتَتَحَ الْقَصَصِ بِذِكْرِ آيَاتِ اللَّهِ تَعَالَى فِي قَصَصِ مُوسَى عَلَيْهِ سَلَمْ And Allah Rabbu Alameen begins this chapter, the chapter of stories of Musa alayhi salam, by mentioning the signs that are especially with regards to Prophet Musa alayhi salam in his life by saying These are the signs from the clear book نَتْلُ عَلَيْكَ مِن نَبَئِ مُوسَى وَفِرْعَوْنَ بِالْحَقِّ لِقَوْمِ يُؤْمِنُونَ We will recite to you the story of Moses and Pharaoh in truth for the people who believe. So concluding the previous chapter of Allah Ta'ala saying that His signs will be shown and you will know them and the Prophet Alayhi Salatu is being shown the signs 
the signs of Musa and Ali Salam and Pharaoh and the Prophet certainly Ali Salatu Salam recognize them and for the believers as a whole to be able to recognize and we know that in all of the stories of what Allah Rabbul Alameen tells us it is not to entertain us but rather to educate us to help us to learn what we should be learning vicariously through their lives and through their experiences so that we can be transformed for the better and we can be protected from having the bad lessons of history repeat themselves and Allah Rabbul Alameen is the best and He knows best وصلى الله وسلم وبارك على نبينا محمد